Hello and welcome to the basement. Here is something that I got years ago. And it's a it's an arty thing. It's a can thing. So it was a it was by Ken Danby, who is a late great Canadian artist, and it was called Face Off. And I always thought, boy, that kind of is representative of what just went on in the playoffs. What this is is a big can. And uh I'm trying to remember what was in it. The classic painting, Face Off, by Ken Danby, limited edition. Like, it's, it's, I, I'm not sure if it's popcorn inside. I don't know. It's a tin. Maybe nothing came in it. Maybe it just had the face off on it. There it is. Very serious. As they're getting ready to face off. Anyway, interesting. This to I'm not sure what to do with. I could store stuff in it. I could. I've been trying very hard over the many years not to scratch it. Ugh. Not to. Anyway, if you notice, I took down the box behind me because I thought, you know, I'm getting tired of this. I want to see. It's in here, and I'm not sure now that I should have, because it's full of VHS tapes. This one is marked news. Oh my god, and it's heavy, so heavy, and I don't know. Well, this one is marked D-Day. Anyway, I do have a VHS player thing, and I suppose what I should do for anything that looks interesting enough. Oh, now this is interesting. Sid Kennell's 90th birthday. Yes, that I will definitely look at. I will set that aside. That's my grandfather, who, if you watched the last video, there's his dent mug. And this, I don't know, it says nothing. And this, I don't know. It says nothing. It could be, of course, that the labels have dried and fallen off. I don't know. And it's funny because just recently my mother, his daughter, had her 90th birthday. And here's more tapes with nothing, nothing written on them anyway. Now, would it be anything good? I don't know. Or maybe nothing. Look, nothing. But I guess I should check and see, because I don't know if anyone else has a copy of that. Now, what do we have? A tape that says nothing. A tape that says nothing. Oh, we're getting in the way here. Put this in the back. Nothing. Dr. Doolittle. Indeed, that's what it says. All right. Uh, what's this say? NYPD Blue Last Bobby. Oh, that must have been when Bobby died of the infection from the bullet wound. Larry King, <gasps> 1995. You're, you're in review. Larry King was a great interviewer. Oh, here's things. There's John Candy and Richard Nixon. Anyway, I guess I do need to, little by little, investigate these things. Certainly, I will check out uh, the birthday thing first. What does this say? I don't know. It has a name on it, but I, I don't know why. I don't know what. And who knows? It could be blank. I don't think the oh, more blank tapes. Anyway, I do, in an effort to be rid of things, I need to look at things. Now, I, I suspect there is some more historical stuff in here, but I just don't know what it could be. Oh, what's this? Bruce Willis, The Sixth Sense. Harrison Ford, Michelle Pfeiffer, What Lies Beneath. Hmm, interesting. 
Oh, so I guess what I'm going to have to do is take a bunch of these upstairs. I have an all-in-one player thing. Braves, Bouchard, Schindler. Don't know. Another. And another thing that has nothing written on it. I do now. But anyway, these are things that must be dealt with. And if, if there are things that... Like, I know Richard's son, Nathan, has a vast collection of VHS things. And maybe... I don't know if he still records them. Well, they're going to... Or it seems to be. Is it? Who knows? Secret Life of Twins. Loch Ness Monster. Anyway, um, I know I have sent VHS tapes north before. So maybe I need to, little by little, set the thing up and investigate. Not go crazy, but just see what's what. This could be empty. This could be empty. I don't know. I just don't know, but the desk is filling up here. So I've kind of got... One layer out of here. What does this say? Nothing. This is nothing. Anyway, so I guess maybe, you know, maybe I'll grab one random thing. Because you see, in the old days, Star Trek, last episode. In the old days, wonderful life. Um... You know, you would set up and you would record. And, of course, the joke was, with everyone is there, you have your your VHS thing with the time flashing zero, 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 or no, 12, zero, zero, and you never change it. You never know what it's doing. And um, and uh, most people, if they were recording, like, I guess you could program things. I never really knew how strange as that might be, as I used to program things. But mostly... Um, you just see it was coming on, or you knew it was coming on, and you would press record and let it go. Anyway, certainly this needs to be investigated. It does. And if I had found it before, maybe we would have played it a little bit at his daughter's 90th birthday. Maybe. Anyway. Well, that is enough for now. I have to go and pick something up. And these things are heavy. I need to find a box. Well, maybe a shopping bag thing. Take them upstairs. Hook them up. Or hook up the little thing. It's like a whole, like a little monitor to TV in there. And I will be pretty ruthless about things. If there really aren't anything worthwhile, then they can go. Go, 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 go. Because, you know, I mean, it, you know what? But here's the thing, of course. Like 78 records, when other things came out, I remember radio stations hearing about them taking them off to, like, um, a shooting range and throwing them in the air and people blasted them away. And then, everyone's, you know, now like, oh, my golly, 78 records. Ah. Oh. Anyway, do I think VH tapes are ever going to be like, oh, I don't think so. I don't think so. I just don't think so. So anyway, probably most of these will either get donated or if there's something of interest, I'll send it away with Richard and they can sort it out. But blank tapes, I don't know. I guess, well, I guess I'll ask Richard, do you, you know, do you record things on them still? Does Nathan do these things? I don't know. And this thing is trying to fall off. You know what? I'm tired of it. It's going to get stuck. I yank it off. I'll recycle it. So. That's where I'm at. But if the 90th birthday party is interesting, I'll try and find a way. Even if it means setting up a phone on a tripod in a dark room and recording it. I'm, not, I'm sure there's better ways to transfer things. But... We do what we can do. Anyway, thanks for coming. I'm sure I'm sure most of you have got rid of your VHS tapes. I'm getting there. Have a lovely day. Bye for now.